My name is Reed Phillips. I'm chair of the Community Foundation and served as chair of the LaBauer Park Steering Committee. And we're so grateful that all of you can be here to get today. We have some special guests. Mayor Vaughn, thank you for being here. Good morning. I see uh, City Council members uh, Outling and Hoffman. Any other elected Hightower. officials? Hightower. And Hightower, yes, great. Sitting right here in front of There you go, right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for being here. Um, I'd like to recognize the members of the LeBauer family uh, who are here, uh, Jean and Gail. Thank you. We all know that this wouldn't be possible without Carolyn LeBauer. The um, LeBauer Park Steering Committee, if you're here. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. And the LeBauer Park Steering Committee, if you were a member of the Steering Committee, would you just stand, please? Thank you for your work. We have representatives of the um, Edward Armfield Senior Foundation. Uh, would you stand, please, and be recognized? Mindy and Adair. <laughs> Trustees of the Public Art Endowment, would you stand, please, and be recognized? <laughs> the new Greensboro Downtown Parks Board, would you stand, please? Community Foundation Board, would you stand, please? <laughs> and the uh, Center City Park Board, would you stand, please? Thank you. Um, there are two. <laughs> there are two individuals um, that I want to recognize um, right away. Uh, one, Effie Veritamitis. She has been the project coordinator for this from the Community Foundation. Effie is the one who sees to it that all of the details to the project are attended to. She has been a great um, asset and great force in bringing us to this point today. So Effie. Uh, and also, <clears throat> excuse me, Walker Sanders, who is president of the Community Foundation. Walker had the um, idea that the park should be downtown in a place that would be most accessible to everybody in the city. And that was one of his beginning ideas that was so important. The other great idea that he had that has really led us to the success that we have today is starting with the programming as the first focus and working back from that towards the design and then what the park would actually look like. And that was, uh, that was brilliant. It's guided us all the way. But beyond that, Walker has stuck with this um, every day. There is no nuance or detail that has escaped his attention. There's nothing he hasn't worried about on this. And all of that um, great attention and detail um, is going to give us a great park. So Walker, thank you very much. As you know, um, LaBauer Park was the vision of Carolyn LaBauer who left her estate to the Community Foundation with the instruction that we build an outstanding public park and give it to the city. Um, she was concerned that it be a park that was excellent in design, excellent in purpose, excellent in construction, and an endearing and enduring gift to the city of Greensboro. I think what you're going to see and hear today will satisfy you that we have been true to her wishes and that we have accomplished the park that she wanted us to accomplish with her very generous over $10 million bequest to the Community Foundation. So thank you, Carolyn Bauer, for this great gift and what it has done. It has been a privilege for me to work with um, world leaders in park design, park operation, um, park construction, and those are people, because of the generous bequest, that we've been able to engage in this park um, project. You're going to hear from those people uh, this morning, and they each have something important for you to, to know about the park and to hear about the park. And yet, at the same time, I've kind of struggled with the way to sort of capture what this park is going to do for Greensboro. 
we all know that it's going to be a great place for people to gather and to play and to have fun and to be every day. And I think that's um, really what Carolyn wanted most of all. And I think I'm really, we're all going to be very proud of that. But um, a couple of nights ago, I had a dream. And the dream was that I was called to Piedmont Triad International Airport to meet an important visitor to our city. And the important visitor turned out to be the head of an automobile company who was looking to build a new manufacturing plant somewhere in the United States. She got off her uh, airplane, which of course was a Honda Jet. <laughs> and I said, well, I guess you want to go to the Greensboro uh, Randolph Megasite. And she said, no, take me to LeBauer Park. I've heard about the sculpture. I've heard about the park. That's what I want to see first. So I brought her to the park, and she immediately was whisked away by the people you're going to hear from this morning, who spent about an hour with her on a beautiful spring day like today. Park filled with people having fun, listening to music, dancing, running around, kids, adults, dogs, um, great variety, great diversity of people doing all sorts of things in the park. An hour or so later in my dream, she came back to me, and I said, I guess now you want to go to the mega site. She said, no, <clears throat> megasites are pretty much alike. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. What I came to Greensboro to see was your park and your Janet Eckelman sculpture. And now that I've seen that, and now that I've spent an hour with the people of Greensboro, I know this is where we're going to build our automobile plant. So I think even if that dream doesn't come true exactly the way I've stated it here, <laughs> We are going to see people from outside of Greensboro who come to Greensboro and who want to become part of our community and who bring jobs to Greensboro. And I think that's going to be one of the benefits beyond the confines of the real estate that you're going to walk over or have the opportunity to walk over in a minute um, that all of us will benefit from for a very long time. So Carolyn Bauer, thank you for that also. Two quick facts, and then we'll get on to the people you really want to hear from. Um, I just love this fact. There are going to be um, 250 trees in that park. And when you see the site and realize it's not very big, that's a lot of trees. And it's going to be a lot of very different, carefully selected trees. I think that's a cool thing that I know Carolyn LeBauer will be proud of. I think that's cool. The other um, <clears throat> fact that I came across recently was there was a study in Edinburgh, England in 2013 where they actually attached electrodes to the heads of people who went into parks. And they found by that study something that we all sort of intuitively know, certainly Wade and others who work in the parks area know is true, which is when you get into a park, your mind changes in some important ways. <clears throat> you really do, after about 25 minutes, according to this study, um, relax, become less stressed, and become more meditative and more contemplative um, about yourself and about the world you're in, and you really start to connect and see things in a different way. I think that study is really cool, and I think, again, it shows sort of the wisdom of Carolyn LeBauer's gift to our city, because she wanted that sort of um, disconnect and sort of new way of thinking for people when they visit our park. What a cool idea.